Welcome to Media Minute Roundtable. For this episode, we're talking about E3, things that should die, no context headlines, and some guilty pleasures. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Medium at Roundtable. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And I'm Rachel Edge. And welcome to another exciting episode. Glad to have folks along. If you're joining us on BitTube, YouTube, whatever, uh, be sure you hit that like, subscribe, leave some comments. We did, we did get some like bot comments on BitTube. Oh yeah, they're amazing. U- UFOs and aliens and all sorts of amazing what? stuff. I didn't check them out. I didn't click on the links, no. but I probably will tonight. Don't click on the links. Yeah. Don't no, click the just, links. They're just bitch shoot links. <laughs> just links to videos. <laughs> hey, man, you sure? We should like, have, maybe we should have a UFO episode at some point. Uh, yeah. Yes. I could talk about UFOs all day, every day. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So uh, there you go. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get underway. Uh, yeah, I mentioned E3. Uh, that was on the go for like the last uh, week or so. A couple of big headlines. Uh, George R. R. Martin has been working with uh, From Software, the guys who did Dark Souls. And of course, oh, nice. they released a trailer for Elden Ring. Okay. So, so another kind of fantasy, epic Dark Souls y type game, I guess. I've never really got into Dark Souls that much because it's a game where you have to be good at it. And I'm an old man and I don't have time or reflexes now. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely, well, that's, that's like part, like, the biggest part of its reputation, right? Is yeah, like, it's, this, it's, this game is it's, hard. It's a hard game, so and I, I don't fault you if you like Demon Souls, Dark Souls. Uh, but hey, George R. R. Martin has yeah, been helped uh, creating like the the setting and the world for crazy. Instead of writing the final book or <laughs> whatever, <laughs> <laughs> whatever that at, he's supposed this, to be doing. At at this point, like I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's just going to end with the last book that was out, and he's just going to do whatever he wants because it's. He's George R.R. He, Martin. He's got his right? money, <laughs> and I mean, if you're a creative person and you've you kind of run out of steam on like a project, super hard to get back into it. Oh, for sure, and I feel like that happens a lot with creators too, right? Because like I remember, what was it? Stephen King. He hadn't finished uh, the Dark Tower series yet. Uh, he got hit by a car, and everybody panicked because it well, was like that. obviously they were worried about his health and stuff. Because getting hit by a car is never a good thing. Yeah. Um, but people were freaking out because they're like, "Oh my God, we're never gonna find out the end now, right?" And I think that's a big thing too for George R. R. Martin. People are worried that like he'll pass away before they know the final ending. He's definitely not it, a right? young, healthy individual. <laughs> so. we, we've got, we've talked about this before, the Stephen King thing. Yeah. And, and like, yeah. I know I've mentioned it before, but it's kind of messed up. It's like. Stephen King gets hit by a car, yeah, and everyone's like, "Oh no, what about the books?" It's, it's like, like not about dude's Stephen King. In yeah. traction. <laughs> well, no, but the thing is, too, people were concerned about his health too. Like that wasn't like the books weren't like the main focus. Like everybody was like, "Holy sh! Like Stephen King just got hit by a car." But like definitely in the back of some people's minds, it was like, "Oh for, no, gonna we're never going to find out for, the ending to this now, right?" First swear of the episode. Yeah. Bing. <laughs> Have a little canter. Bing. Ooh, uh, yep. Right. Just ding. Yeah. Uh, next <laughs> up, uh, the guys who made Fallout 3 and 4, Bethesda, uh, they've been talking about Ooh. this for a while, uh, Starfield, uh, they put out a trailer for it, uh, so yeah, I know, yeah, it's, it's invading on, my Twitter feed and I can't do anything about it, timeline, yeah, um, it's supposed to be an open hand solo type world, like you get to be, oh, okay, so space, fly around space, do, I don't know if there's space wars in space, but it's, it's described as Skyrim in space. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. So interesting. Okay. A lot of people excited for that, but that's been in works for three or four years now. It's, it's been. That sounds like Bethesda. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Zelda: Breath of the Wild two. Oh, the there's. Oh, what? Oh, cool. Yeah. So if you're a Zelda fan, you like Breath of the Wild. New Zelda game. What? Yeah. Number two is coming nice. in. Yep. Cool. I didn't. I, I did not know that. The gra- Yep. The graphics in the first one was absolutely beautiful. Oh, so yeah. I'm excited to see that. I never played it, but uh, all the screenshots and everything I've seen about it. Oh, what was the one on the uh, Super Nintendo? Link to the Past? Yeah. yeah. So good. I played that, it 
hell out of that game. Same, Throwback. same here. My cousin had it on Super Nintendo. And nice. Like, I'd go to his nice. house and, like, play the crap out of it. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, oh, man. Yeah, that's actually my favorite Zelda game. Like, I can't go back Same. and play it. I never played the original one on NES. I've tried going oh, back did. and playing it a few times, but, like, I can't get into it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, mean, I get it set a precedent. Like, it was, it was groundbreaking and all that stuff. And it was, it was definitely a classic game, but, yeah, the... Yeah, Link to the, the Past. Yeah, that one. It was kind of the pinnacle. Man. Yeah. That game still stands up. Uh, well, there's a Guardians of the Galaxy game coming out uh, by Square Enix. Oh, cool. Uh, really? Yeah. There was actually one a few years ago by Telltale, Telltale Games, the guys who did the uh, Walking Dead series. Okay. Kind of in that style where you would make like dialogue choices and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I played through it. I remember it being all right, but this one's kind of more of an action RPG type thing. Mm. Man, I am so out of the loop when it comes to gaming. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. am just... Me too. Uh, I guess I'm old. Well. And I'm okay with that. Avatar. James Cameron's Avatar. It's oh, still no. still, what? still happening. Uh, I guess with movie number two finally coming out at some point, they're working on a uh, Avatar game. That movie uh, wasn't that good. It was visually stunning. It was, that's, that's about it. I think stunning is, a, it was, is overrating it. Well, it, it was cool. I don't sure. Yeah. I think a lot of people like the 3D aspect of it. Right. Yeah, I saw it in 2D, so. Yeah. Yeah, see, like, the 3D aspect was a big thing for the time, right? Because it's, like, 3D had been going in and out for a long time, but I feel like that movie specifically, yeah. like, made it kind of more popular. Well, that was Because the, people the were like, area, oh, my God, 3D. The era of uh, when they were doing those 3D TVs. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, IMAX was really, really big. Yeah. Uh, I always used to go yeah. see the 2D versions of movies, though, because they were cheaper for, like, three bucks. Oh, yeah. by far, yeah. Yeah. Um... It it was crazy how expensive the three D movies were. Oh yeah, Gravity and IMAX was cool though. Oh bad, yeah. See, like there's certain movies though that I feel like the three D aspect really works. Like, and I, I feel like for Gravity, like that would have been insane. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I, I think the entire like film experience was built around filming it in three D, so it worked out. Um, now I mentioned Fallout. Uh, the guys who did uh, the Fallout New Vegas, which was the better. Of the Fallout yeah, wasn't it seventy six? Yeah, <laughs> uh, we they, don't talk about that. They've announced uh, Outer Worlds too, because uh, Obsidian they did uh, Outer Worlds, which is basically like Fallout in space. So, nice. Um, yeah, <laughs> everything ends up in space. Everything ends up in space eventually. Eventually. Yeah. I mean, aren't we kind of already in space? That might be a segue. Should we do it? Segue. Segue. Hey. <laughs> This is my new hand thing for segues. It yeah. makes no sense, but I'm going to do it. Okay, anyways, back to the conversation. Uh, for you folks who play Sea of Thieves, they're bringing in Captain Jack Sparrow. What? <gasps> yep. No way. Uh, okay. That's awesome. Yep. Um, for those people I like the flight simulator games, uh, they're bringing flight sims to consoles now. I'm so bad at those. I've tried them like a ton of times. Oh, yeah. Like, and I just crash every time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing the one on like the Commodore 64 and it was all like nice. 3D like the 3D uh wireframe stuff and Oh yeah, right. It was polygons. like very very primitive polygons and stuff like that. But uh yeah, they've announced that and they've also announced a Top Gun expansion for it. Uh so I'm not cool. sure if that means if they're going to bring in like air combat or if it, they're just going to have like the military jets uh to fly. That'd be kind of it kind of suck though, like either have like an F fourteen and not be able to shoot guns. Yeah, right. Like what's that, that's kind of yeah. the point of an F fourteen. <laughs> yeah, like, you're not just going for a Sunday drive. No. Well, I, as I mentioned, like with the yeah. last episode we had, you know, I, I kind of like the the jet stuff. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it turns out. And uh, Diablo two resurrected has a date now because they've remastered Diablo two. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, nice. I'm going to claim a little bit of credibility Yeah, on that one. I'm not a programmer, but I mentioned it in the last episode. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so September 23rd. I'm pretty sure that butterfly affected the whole project. Yeah. September 23rd. Sure. Um, yeah, looks good. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably play nice. it. Diablo 2 is kind of the pinnacle of the series, I think. Three, yeah. Three, three, three kind of had its issues. Yeah, I, f- I felt kind of burned on three. Yeah. So, a lot of people looking forward to that. 
And uh, yeah, that's kind of the the major E three things. Um, yeah. But actually, just to backtrack a little bit. Sure. You remember when like the Polygon like graphics came out like Star Fox? Oh yeah. And there's that driving game. I can't remember the name right now. Remember when that was mind blowing? It was. It was it just was. like, oh man, yeah. look at this. Like, this uh, looks incredible. Remember, like NHL, like ninety seven or ninety eight had like they switched from the sprites to like the polygons. <sighs> you could see the sheen on the ice. I remember, I bought a graphic or I got a graphics card for like Christmas in like nineteen ninety seven, and it was like, oh, how is it going to get any better than this? I miss that. Yeah. Uh, we don't really get that anymore. Here's where, like the... you see a game where it's just like, look at this thing, and yeah. it's just, it's just bl- your eyes, your your pupils just here's the thing for me a lot of people like i see people reviewing video games and stuff now it's like man those graphics look terrible and as someone who grew up on like literal dots representing stuff it's like (laughs) i was like man this looks awesome (laughs) what are you talking about bad graphics it looks fantastic yeah what's talking about so any any, uh, oh sorry what what's that oh i was just saying it seems like a common theme like even in movies and stuff too like with like the graphics and like CGI and stuff, it's like growing up and seeing that evolve. It's such a crazy thing when you think about it. Yeah. Well, early two thousand CGI. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that, in yeah, the movies. Yeah. Maybe not the golden years of a CGI. No. no. I mean, Dragonheart maybe doesn't hold up so much. Scorpion King. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, so, to... Scorpion King. Oh my God, I forgot about that one. To... You know, there's like five of those. <laughs> what they've continued making scorpion king movies which makes us to a segue oh three two one segue which is movie series that should probably die yeah i mean i didn't I... even know that was a thing yeah no there's yeah, like five I scorpion thought... king movies what? yeah no yeah why who <laughs> who asked for that I who was know. like yo more scorpion king what? i don't know the fact that they continued making Scorpion King movies and not like the Brendan Fraser mummy movies is yeah. mind blowing. There's only like three right? of those. Brendan Fraser's coming back though. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's on. Is uh, he? Kind of. He's on Doom Patrol, which is uh, a DC series. He yeah. plays uh, a robot guy. And he's in a movie. I can't remember what the title is, but uh, a new movie with uh, Don Cheadle. Yeah. And I saw him a couple years oh, back. Oh, that's exciting. In a, like a series about like the Texas Rangers or something. He was in that. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, Mr. Encino Man himself. I'm glad. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. So uh, Brendan Fraser, I'm... bring him back. Yeah, but not Scorpion. King I movies. love. Yeah, maybe not that one. Yeah. No, don't bring that back. <laughs> but back onto like the series that must die. Yeah. I would like almost argue that like basically every horror series that has gone over and into space. Yeah, you stop. <laughs> that kind of ties into it. one of my answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, wait, I, oh, oh d- yeah. did I just, like, yeah, volunteer? That's all I got. Yeah, you, you, you did yourself an imposed segue there. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one hurts to say out loud. Yeah. But sometimes Uh-oh. you just got to... got to rip the gotta, Band-Aid off. Yeah, you got to... It's a tough pill to swallow. But... Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my answer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. no. Uh, oh, I was like, what? <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. I love yeah. my I love Michael Myers. I love the Halloween franchise in general, but <sighs> yeah, it's still going on. They're bringing back like the old actors. Yeah, I mean, uh, apparently the Jamie Lee like, Curtis one. Actually, no, I did watch that. It was yeah. pretty good. It was good. Okay, it was good. But I don't know. And yeah, it's just there's nothing new. It they they've uh, dried out that well. Yeah, there's nothing left down there. No, I was like uh, I feel. Go ahead, Rachel. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Mike. No, you go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Canadian stand off. You yeah. go ahead. No, no, no. Please. Ha, yeah. huh. I added the please. You have to now. How is this microphone hairy again? What is going on? You're the only person that uses it, as far as I know. It's not my hair. <laughs> Something's going on. <laughs> yep. Ghost. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Go, Rachel. Oh, yeah, yeah, go to I told you to go. I said, please. He was using I actually forgot what I was going to yeah, say. Me, so. me okay, I was I'm talking about I was talking about Halloween and how it was a. a I don't oh, want to yeah, cancel okay. it, but I might have to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was basically just saying that like it's come to a point where it's like not just for Halloween, but for like a lot of like horror movie franchises like Chucky and uh, 
Friday the 13th and Freddy Krueger and like all of like the like I guess classic slashers it's like it's gotten to a point where it's like so overdone you know what I mean like they were great in the 80s and like when they came out but like just completely redoing it over and over again it gets to a point where it's just like eh okay yeah. like you're not even excited about yeah, it yeah you're just like painting by numbers at a certain point well I mean the yeah even more recent series like uh, the Jigsaw franchise has kind of yeah, run itself to ground mm-hmm. Like, they did that Spiral yeah. movie, which apparently did not go over well. Yeah, like, no one's talking about that. See, yeah. See, that's the thing, though, is, like, um, I've heard the opposite. I've heard Spiral was a really good one. Like, and it actually mm-hmm. brought the Saw franchise into, like, making, I think, like, one of, like, their first billion or whatever. Like, that, it brought that franchise from, like, the millions to the billions. Oh. Hmm. It, Maybe in, I was uh, misinformed. In revenue. I, I don't know. I might have been wrong on the internet. You can't be wrong on the internet. <laughs> We're on the internet. We're never wrong. Yeah. Come on. No. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, for me. But it's uh, like even. Go ahead. Oh, Rachel. sorry. Go ahead. No, you. No, go. No, you. All right. Uh, screw it. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butt in line. Do it. How about that? Y'all can't decide? I'll do it. Uh, this is actually a. When I first started thinking about uh, this topic, this was my first go to. But after thinking about it, I was like, no, maybe it shouldn't be canceled. But uh, Fast and the Furious. Yeah, they're, they're at movie nine right now. I can understand. I thought they were a case. I thought they were in like the double digits. No, movie nine. Yeah, I think nine was the last one. Yeah. But, oh God. Okay. But I, I don't. After uh, after some contemplation, I don't think it should be canceled. I mean, I haven't seen it since like the second movie. I don't think I've seen a single one. Yeah. To and, be honest, and I'm not not like a car guy, so like. Yeah, but see, this is why I kind of turned around on it because yeah. people like awesome cars yeah. doing cool things with explosions in the background. Yeah, and like actors that huh. are known and loved. So, Mr. Vin Diesel. So I'm, I'm anti-canceling Fast and the Furious yeah. because I get why oh. people like it. Yeah. No, if Even though I've never seen one. <laughs> no, if like every movie is kind of doing better than the last one, I mean, there's... Even if it's not to your personal taste, I mean, there's no yeah. no reason to do that. Well, well, I remember they tried to do that spinoff with Jason Statham and um, oh, uh, the, the Rock. Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, like Jason. Hobbs and Shaw? Yeah, yeah something like that. And uh, that, looked actually I, kind that of one actually made quite a bit of, it made quite a bit of money yeah. for them. Oh, no doubt. So it's like, it's, it's interesting because it's like, I guess like if you're like a super fan of the series... Like, for example, um, like, with Fast and Furious, it's, like, they have a pretty dedicated fan base, right? Yeah. They, so, it's, they like, if you're do. a big fan of them, like, you're still going to get money. So, might as well keep doing it. Well, I mean, and I guess you could say the same with, like, the Halloween and the Slashers, too. Is like, they do have quite a big fan base. And so, it's, like, there are people out there that have no problem watching uh, Michael Myers slash some people up in space or, like, underwater or, like, wherever they decide to throw them in next, right? Actually, Michael Myers is the, probably one of the only Slashers has not been sent into orbit yeah thankfully <laughs> yet well, not yet yeah <laughs> we'll see yeah but uh yeah like even those uh terrible transformers movies the michael bay ones i mean oh, th- yeah. they were successful yeah. like not critically great but they were successful see that's the thing though is like you have to remember there's two different types of like cinema there's popcorn movies where you're going in for the entertainment and then there's like actual cinematic movies where you're going in for like um the story and you're going in for like the like the artsy shots and stuff like that right it's like i feel like a lot of people get that mixed up so like for michael bay it's like yeah that's not a cinematic masterpiece but it's definitely a popcorn movie it's something you can watch and just have a good time watching that being said i think the jurassic park series should die yeah oh my god yes they have another one coming out because there's no magic it it they're, no. Yeah. It's like not the a, first movie. That like, was wonderful. Yeah, because like it was all new and like seeing the shots of the dinosaur and the the great musical score. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the, yeah. The score was great. Um, it was now, beautiful. Now it's just okay. The the dinosaur's gone to rampage. Yeah. Uh, Terrence. Yeah. So yeah. Cloning something. Like okay, I'll. I will argue that like for like the first Jurassic World that came out, I thought that was kind of cool because it was like able to bring it to a new generation, right? Because like I remember growing up and watching the Jurassic Park series and just being floored with that movie and just being super excited. And I remember I went to go see Jurassic World in theaters 
And there was a lot of younger kids there, like not super young, but like young enough that it's like, I remember being that kid and being like, oh, dinosaurs. Yeah. Right. So it's like, I feel like I understand that part. That, that movie but did fantastic to, well financially, the first Jurassic World. Yeah. So well, exactly. I, mean, you have parents like, I think up. they should have stopped there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That That's basically my point. Like at, at or, or do like a reboot and like go back to like the original Jurassic Park. Still have Jeff Goldblum. Oh, of course. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. That, <laughs> you have to. Yeah, no. We're, we're not moving Writing, forward yeah. without Goldblum. Because the, the original movie is like oh. 30 years old now. like Which is crazy. Yeah. I mean, that... Are you serious? Yeah, it was the 90s. Yeah. Like Jurassic Park is basically responsible for the name of Toronto's basketball team. Yep. Yep. That That's weird and kind of crazy. Well, like, I even rem- remember for a long time, like, after, like, even before the movies, I was told, like, when we were younger, we were always asked, you know, how you're always asked, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? I remember going around telling people I want to be a paleontologist because of Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, I wanted to go check out dinosaurs and, like, find new species and, like, all of that kind of stuff, right? So it's like, I feel like the inspiration from those movies has definitely done, like, wonders too, right? So that being said, if you could ride a dinosaur, what dinosaur would you ride? Triceratops. Yeah, I'm... Oh, that honest. was yep. that was really fast. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. I I didn't realize I had that answer See, already I, uh, <laughs> and loaded, but I, apparently I did. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. See, like I would be risky. I would want to ride a raptor because that thing could just go. Aren't they kind of small though? I think I just yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. like riding like a medium to large dog. Yeah, or like a. Well, I mean, a if, unicycle. if people can ride, if people can ride emus and like ostriches, I'm pretty sure you could ride a raptor. Maybe. I mean, they're basically the same animal, I suppose. Yeah. 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 But yeah, no, I'm going right? tr- Triceratops. Yeah, and th- that's my answer, too. Oh, triceratops. Right. So, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, tr- totally. Triceratops is like a tried and true like favorite, though, because it's like Triceratops, T-Rex, and like Brontosaurus, I would say, are like the top, the big three. And Stegosaurus, actually. Yeah, I've always been a big yeah, fan so of Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Yeah, so Stegosaurus. But, like, I I don't know. Like, velociraptors have always been super cool to me. Same thing with, like, T-Rexes. Oh God, like, those things are man. awesome. They're, like, they're definitely not what that we thought they were, like, 30 years ago. Like, this apex predator. Because, like, let's be real. They're not built for that. Yeah. And there's actually been um, studies done where it's, like, they're not this apex predator that we've made them out to be. Like, they're, they were considered more of a scavenger kind of thing. Yep. And Which is crazy. Tiny little <laughs> I don't know. There's something about Triceratops. It's the most ride. It seems like the most rideable yeah. of. They're sturdy. Yeah. You got horns that you could hold on to. Yeah. Yeah. You could saddle it probably pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Once you get momentum going, yeah, you could probably go through any wall you want. Yep. So, and like, plus you'd have like the should, like the the horn thing. Yeah. I don't know what that's called. Like the bone there. And you could like hide under oh, like it that, if it did like, go uh, under yeah. like oh, a wall or God, something, right? A name for it. Uh, so, well, I, speaking of things that should die, things that they should bring back. Triceratops. T- t- well, uh, the Dino Riders. It was a cartoon back in the 80s. Holy crap, I forgot about that. Yeah. Also, uh, also Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Um, yeah. Cadillacs and dinosaurs? Cadillacs what? and dinosaurs. It originally was a uh, comic series, but uh, yep. they made like a 13-episode cartoon thing. That's super cool. I've, yeah, I've never heard of either of those, but they both sound brilliant, then, and I'm well, down for it. Both of those were kind of broad. Well, no, Dino Riders was pre-Jurassic Park. Cause that Pretty was, sure. Yeah, that was, was the it? 80s, yeah. But there there was like a dinosaur boom in like the early 90s. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, there, but there, like, there, damn, there was. Yeah. I didn't even, yeah. didn't even think about that. I still remember the Jurassic Park uh, toy cartoons, and it was like, yeah. Dino, there was always a kid that would go, Dino Damage! <laughs> I remember that. And there's well, what was like, that I remember f- what was that fighting game? It was just dinosaurs. Oh, pr- uh, Primal Rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's that's terrible. Wicked. I mean, actually, no. That needs to come back. Yeah. Well, I'd be that down. Got us a little bit off. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Anyone else? Back in the weeds. Yeah. Any series that they think they should die? Should die. Um, um I would. No, go for it. Let me think. Sorry, I'm just trying to think. Avatar, actually. I know, like, the next two haven't come out yet, but, like, dude, it's been 10 years. The hype about it is gone. Any movie. 100%. I don't, like, is is anybody really waiting for the Avatar series? Any movie. Like, that, is anybody, like... That uses the papyrus font? <laughs> yeah. Okay, but no, they did that for a reason. I no, remember I, I was know, mad I know. about the papyrus font, font. Yeah. like originally, but, like, the reason that they used that was because James Cameron wanted people who have um, 
reading disabilities, so like dyslexia and stuff like that, to be able to read the font because that's the most readable font that experts say that like everybody can read. So that's the reason they use that. So when I found that out, I was like, all right, cool. Keep using papyrus because like that's I'm gonna call BS such a cool thing that. to think about. Wouldn't every movie? Say again? Ha- I'm gonna call BS on that one. Because wouldn't every movie no, use seriously. that font then? They don't. I don't think so. Not every movie would have that. I have. Well, if it's the most readable one, then I have no opinion on this. Uh, well, no, just like no. I think James Cameron the, the big... was like, yeah, I chose a crappy font. Speaking I'm of make an excuse for it. Speaking of Cameron, uh, I think oh. the Terminator franchise should yeah have a rest. Yeah, after two, Terminator what? Two was basically the last film in canon for me. Yeah. Yeah. Terminator Two was amazing. Aren't they I hyping? That movie like yeah. Aren't they hyping up? Um. Zack Snyder to take over the Terminator franchise? Are they? Hmm. I thought so. Huh. I thought that was a rumor. Yeah. That he was like going to like I, jump I, on that train. I, I and I'm sorry, is... but like there's some, there's, I know it's not a series, but a director that needs to like take a break for a while. Zack Snyder. I have yet to watch a movie from snacks, Zack Snyder Snack, that I enjoy. I like Snack Snyder better. Snack Snyder, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Snack Snyder. All right. That's how I'm, that's how I'm calling him. Yeah. That's what I'm calling him from now on. Okay. But no, seriously, though, like, the last few movies he's put out, I'm sorry, they have not been good. And I know people are like, oh, but, like, the Snyder Cut was so good. I'm like, I'm not going to sit and waste four hours, four hours. of my day yeah, watching watched, Justice League. Yeah. Because apparently it's better than the one that came out. And it's like, I don't know. And if you look at DC, all of the movies that have done well, not Zack Snyder at all. Look, I, I know a lot of people hated, um, oh, crap, I just had it. The pressures of being on camera. Batman. That freeze all the time. Batman. The, Dead. Uh, the one in the Batman third. Superman? No, the girls. Uh, Sucker Punch. There we go. Birds of Prey. Yeah. I got it. Eventually. Oh. A lot of people dogged a Sucker Punch pretty hard. I mean, I, I understand the criticism, but I kind of yeah. enjoyed it. I haven't seen it, so I can't say. Yeah. See, I've watched Sucker Punch, and it's like when, I, when it first came out, I loved it. And then I watched it again, and I was just like, this doesn't have rewatchability for me. But yeah, for me personally, it's like, I don't like Zack Snyder as a director. Like, I don't think he's very good. All this stuff is super dry for me. And, like, for some people, they absolutely adore him, right? Did but you, I do think he should take a break for a little bit. Because it's like, owl movie every did? one of his... Owl movie? Which one? He did, like, an animated owl, owl movie. movie. Oh, the Guardians of... Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Go- well, that was Snyder. Guardians of Gohul, yeah. yeah. That was pretty good. Really? Yeah. yeah. So I actually enjoyed that one. Yeah. Yeah, that was Zack Snyder. Maybe he should stick to animated for a while. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um... Speaking of, I got a non sequitur here, though. Be, uh, okay. Because, so turn left. Yeah. It's all good. Well, I mean, any chance to bring up Nicolas Cage? Ooh. I'm, I'm going to okay. take. Okay. okay. New, new trailer dropped this week for Pig. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So and it's like excited. Nicolas Page, so... Cage looking for his truffle pig. Yeah. like no. that, That's the story. That would be the, I, I think, the easiest pitch Ever. It's like, okay, we got Nicolas Cage and he lost his pig. Yep. All okay, right. Yeah, let's, let, let's make this movie. <laughs> Here's yeah. money. Easy. Yeah. 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 Nicolas Cage. Well, that's the thing, John too, Wick, but. It's like, I feel like Nick, John Pick. I feel like Nick Cage just signs <laughs> up for anything. Like, you just you just give him a script and if he likes it, he's like, all right, yeah. let's do it. I mean, it actually looks like pretty interesting. Like, it seems like he was like yeah. some sort of high end chef or something that he became a hermit in the woods with his pig. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen the trailer, but if yeah. it shows up. On Netflix or any st- service I subscribe to, I'm going to watch that. Yeah. Actually, What's you know, question? I think has uh, did Mike send you the trailer for uh, the Will Ferrell and Paul Rudd movie that's coming out on Apple TV? Yeah, I don't think I sent you that one. No, no, I didn't yeah. see that. There is there is a Will Ferrell okay. and Paul Rudd movie coming out though. <sighs> Will Ferrell. It's called not like the the. But no, the, this is the uh, thing though. It's like the grab that he Will used Ferrell. To for me. That's fair. But and my dad's the same way. He doesn't watch Will Ferrell, but like something about this movie seems like completely different than like any other Will Ferrell. Because like Will Ferrell also, usually it, plays the goofy guy and like yeah, it's, it's all a that stuff. Serious this... Will Ferrell movie? I don't know if serious, but like yeah. uh, in terms of it's uh, like like everything must go. Um, oh okay. He's more of that uh, kind of role. Like he's a kind of a yeah. down on his luck okay. guy going to a psychiatrist. So it seems to be more somber than his usual. Yeah. Work. And, and, he, it, he and it kind that. of looks. 
Go ahead. <laughs> Listen, having <laughs> one person remote is is a little bit hard. So. It's trickier than it looks, yeah. people. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, Rachel. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Mike. Um, but yeah, like I don't know, like Paul Rudd too. Like he looks like he's playing a really serious and almost dark kind of character. Like really, I'm I'm very intrigued. Yeah, and I'm like, you don't really see Paul Rudd in like the bad guy choose very often like i don't know if i've actually ever seen him in the bad guy as the bad guy i'm not sure yeah I'm, i don't think so right yeah and it's like will ferrell too he seems like such a uh from what i got from the trailer is like he seemed like a very almost innocent kind of character just looking for the help from his shrink and it almost looks like there's going to be some dark aspect to it so i'm i'm very interested because yeah. like will ferrell playing that character and then paul rudd playing like almost the bad guy I don't know. I'm. It's got my curiosity. It just sucks because it's on Apple TV, and it's like I really don't want to subscribe to an, yet another for one service. movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got to keep this show going. Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, we got right. we got a lot of topics, so let's okay. Let's move on to let's get dirty. Guilty pleasures. Guilty pleasures. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Yes. Uh, my first one. Yep. Howard the Duck. It's not a guilty pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, guilty, that's a great Guilty movie. pleasures is probably a mislabeling this because I don't yeah. feel any guilt about appreciating Howard Stuff that got panned that we like. Yeah. 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 Um, if you've been on the internet, you've seen the dogpiling that uh, has happened to Howard the Duck. I'm against it. Yep. You know, uh, yeah, I know it's weird. Like, the, there's an uncomfortable sex scene and the puns are pretty corny. Yes, I'm aware of that. I grant you that. Also, one of the first Marvel movies. Yeah. Yep. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't really have much of a case to build. I'm just saying, how did the duck just. Uh... Granted, I haven't seen it one. in like 25 years. Yeah. So upon rewatch, I might change my mind. <laughs> but I'm just going to choose to stay ignorant and remember it how I watched it as a child. Yeah. How did the duck? Stop picking on it. Bullies? Yeah. It's not that bad. Not great. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll meet you halfway. But it's not it's just bad. a good watch, though. It's a feel-good watch. It, it yeah. has a good memory to you, right? Yeah, so it's like, totally. I feel like when you put memories to movies and other people are like, oh, but it's such a bad movie. It's like, yeah, but you don't have the memory with it that I do, right? Because yeah. when I was a kid, I loved Howard the Duck. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Mike, what movie. about you? What's yours? I have to say, uh, well, in light of... Of course, the Masters of the Universe coming back. But the old Filmation yeah. cartoons, where they reuse okay. the same animation over and over oh, again. Oh, yeah, like the old Spider-Mans. Or, yeah. Uh, Bat- I think Batman did it, too. Well, if you watch uh, if you watch He-Man, like the old He-Man, She-Ra, and uh, Brave Star. Oh, Brave Star. I yeah. forgot about that Brave one. Brave Star is fantastic. It's a fantastic concept. Probably doesn't hold up these days. But yeah. but you notice that they, they wrote us. They rotoscoped like a bunch of stuff, and they yeah. used the same rotoscoped animation for like the same characters across, or the different characters across the three different shows. It's it's just like I don't know something comfortable about like in the afternoon grabbing a drink and just wa- like watching an old episode of Brave Star. The Thundercats. Thundercats, yeah. Silverhawks, yeah. The lesser known version of the Thundercats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Galaxy Rangers. Have you ever seen that one? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, uh, I don't know if they're filmation, but yeah. Yeah, probably not. But yeah, that era of uh, 80s, 90s cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Love it. It's kind of a, it's like, why do you go to back and watch cartoons? It's like, they're fun. Yeah. Transformers. Yeah. And plus, uh, it, it's funny to me now. Uh, I never noticed it when I was a kid, but, uh, you know, working with uh, voice and stuff now. Like, I, I noticed, like, when they reuse the same voice actors yeah. and yeah. everything now, it's like, you have one guy talking to himself with like three different characters. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Yeah, Love it's it. it's like great. on on Brave Star. I'm pretty sure like Peter Cullen plays like a talking horse, <laughs> so the voice of Optimus Prime. <laughs> nice, <laughs> wicked. Yeah. All right. Next. Do you have a guilty pleasure, Rachel? Oh. Yeah. Um. I would say the same. Like similar to what you said, Mike. Is like there's a lot of cartoons, like movies that I used to watch as a kid that I still go back and watch. Like Thumbelina was like one of my favorite movies. And I like I don't think it's really a guilty pleasure, but like being older and stuff and having people be like, you still watch these? It's like, yeah, of course I do. Like they're such feel good films because it's like it's something I remember from my childhood, right? Like 
I will 100% be the person that'll, like, do a Disney marathon before I do, like, watch something new. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, those feel-good kind of films that just, like, bring you back to your childhood and make you, like, yep, just happy. <laughs> yeah, there's value to nostalgia. Like, it can be, yeah. like, it can be overdone with people bringing it back and stuff, but, like, going back and exploring some yes. of that stuff that you enjoyed, it's worth it sometimes. Yeah, like, have you guys ever, like, had, like, a movie that you, like, you remember vividly, but you can never find it again? And then it's, like, you find it, like, years later, and it's just, like, you can still get, like, that really good, like, feeling of just, like, oh, my God, I remember why I love this so much. Because I've had that happen a few times where it's like I've I couldn't find I remembered the movie vividly I knew the storyline I knew everything I couldn't remember the name of the movie and then I, like I fa- I found it years later watched it and I was like oh wow okay yeah this is why I loved it I, I know I've misremembered like old shows uh, yeah so uh, what was that uh, show that had Michael J Fox the sitcom like his first sitcom uh, not Growing Pains oh uh, yeah, it, it, well, it was Growing Pains so was it no I think that's correct I Cameron. thought it was um. I could be wrong. Yeah, but whatever one that was. Like, Family, Family Matters. Wait, no, that's no. not right either. I'll uh, get it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that uh, that sitcom that Michael J. Fox was in, um, there was an episode that I remember watching as a kid, and the episode was about Alzheimer's. And, like, I, he, here's, what I re, here's what I remembered was that uh, their aunt came, and then they sent her off on a bus with, like, no support. Because she had Alzheimer's, which was completely wrong when I watched it years later. <laughs> but I had no idea why I remembered it like that. It's like, yeah, for the for years I thought it was like, they, man, that was a weird episode. They sent their like aunt off with like no support or anything on a bus. A lot of uh, like sitcoms in the eighties and nineties did that. Like, yeah, on this very special episode. Oh, the very the, special episodes, yeah, of the Wonder Years. Yeah, Fred yeah. Savage gets AIDS or something like that. Right? They always address like issues. Yeah, serious Pretty. topic. Yeah. yeah, the very yeah. There was always the drug episode. Yeah, like Mr. Belvedere. Yeah, touched a kid in the wrong spot. I, I know uh, dinosaurs. Did oh wait, it. no, that was. I think it was. Actually, I think it was. Actually, I think it was Mr. Belvedere where a kid got. Yeah, I, I think uh, that was the one. Um, but yeah, the dinosaurs uh, actually did a send up of that of the drug episode. There was like we're only in season two and we're already doing a drug episode. What's up with that? There was like a behind the scenes bit. That's such a good show. Dinos- yeah, it's on, it is. It's on Disney Plus right is now. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't yes. watch it. And I love the fact that it ends it's on a like, <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah like that, that, that last episode, man. Oof. Yeah. Talk about emotional. Yeah. Um, okay, guilty pleasures. Um, next up, let's. Chris, you got some headlines? You want it? Okay. Oh, yeah, is, yep. Are we going to switch to that? Yeah, we'll switch to that. So this is going to be like a new thing. We'll see how it goes. It's yeah. like hashtag no context headlines. Yeah, no context headlines. Yeah, We're going to give you some news and not explain any of it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Although, actually, no, no, okay, no. Yeah, we got good momentum. I don't want to ruin it. Uh, Victoria's Secret basically fired all their quote-unquote angels okay. for different models. Yep. Non-standard models. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. So, like, they did, like, more of a body positivity no, thing? No, 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 no. no. Versus, we're like, we're not there's explaining. no contacts. No, no. There's no contacts. We're moving on. Next t- next one. Let's go. <laughs> Apparently, a guy got swallowed by a whale. Yep, that Let's happened. Up. Thanks, Canada. Could you, could you imagine? <laughs> nope. That's wild. Uh, Twitch got a lot weirder. Yep. Over the past uh, week. A lot of farts. Yeah. Next. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, that, um, that's the only one I had was the whale guy. Oh, that's got? Oh, okay. Um, does, that, does anyone remember the uh, lady who uh, gorilla glued her hair to her head? Yes. Or that, yep. That, yeah. She's uh, releasing her own line of hair care products. <laughs> not, not a joke. Are you serious? Yeah, dead, please, dead please, serious. Please tell me she's used the word gorilla. In I hope so. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah maybe it's oh good like, cross-merchandising. Yeah. Maybe they could hook up and make something happen. That- yeah. Uh, That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Next. Five Nights at Freddy's guys got canceled. Yeah. They they came after him because he donated to the Republican Party or something. Yep. No contact. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah. yeah. Right, right. Yep. Nope. Um, what else? I think that's it. Yeah, I think I ran out. I, th- I think we tapped out. <laughs> Hashtag no contacts headlines. Yeah. Love it. That yeah. was mind-blowing. 
<laughs> I was very uh, confused the entire time. I think that's all I... Oh, actually, I'm going to backtrack to uh, Guilty Pleasures. Oh, uh, yeah, again, not Guilty Pleasures. I don't have any guilt. There's no guilt in our pleasure. Yeah, no, we're guilt-free. This is guilt-free. <laughs> this is a guilt-free space. <laughs> yep. Uh, baloney. Yes. I'm tired of people bullying baloney. Baloney's good. Baloney's fantastic. I, it's better than ham. Yep. I, I Disagree. I'm no, 100% yeah, the person no, that will no, bully no, baloney no. every day, all day, you're wrong, all the time. You're so wrong. Terrible. Man, you can... I'm not wrong. You can fry baloney. It's terrible. Yeah. You can eat it raw. Yeah. You know, you got it's, your choice. It's amazing. You can buy it's huge like, sticks of it. I don't... Yeah. Yep. Out of, the, out of all of the deli meats that you can get, that's the worst. No, it's not. Oh. Head, head cheese is... Yeah, it is. ...probably <laughs> the worst. No. Well, yeah, that too. And then but ham. I mean, ham is like, like... Ham's near the bottom. Yeah. Baloney's way above ham. Way above No, ham. ham's bu- above... No, ham is so above No, baloney, see, it's you're, ridiculous. you're one of the baloney bullies. Mm-hmm. You're just like, oh, it, it's easy to pick I on, totally so am. I'm going to do that. Hashtag baloney bully. Baloney <laughs> bully. <laughs> yeah. But no, like, yeah, I've never been no. a fan of baloney, even as a kid. When was the last time you had baloney? Mm-hmm. Week ago? Yeah. <laughs> what? <Not laughs> so, so you hate it, and you ate it last week? Well, I had nothing else to work with to make a sandwich. I had to use it. It's just not my favorite. Well, that, like, I'll still eat it, but, it's like, it's not the best. Yeah, yeah. Ham will abandon you. Yeah, ham doesn't care about you. You know, bologna? Bologna is there for you. It's got your back. Yep. It's delicious, eh? <laughs> yeah, like, it's ha- supportive. No. <laughs> yep. It, it's three C thick meat. Yeah, you can prepare it in a multitude of ways. Yeah, you can have it as thick you and thin that as you want. anything, though. You can do that with any deli meat. What are you talking about? You can do the what? same thing with ham, quite Listen, easily. I have never seen ham served in a giant tube covered in no. wax. You get those weird, like football kind of shaped yeah. things. <laughs> yeah, you get They're the yeah, you get like the big ones, but yeah, no. Okay, that's fair. bologna. No, yeah, bologna's better than ham. Yep, I no. I agree. Disagree. It's not even. There's nothing as great. Disagree. This isn't even my opinion. This is just fact. Yeah. No, it's not. Bologna <laughs> is trash. No. So are, it, are you saying he's yep. full of bologna? Oh, I am full of bologna. Yeah, 100%. And I'm, I'm and right, proud of it. Right now. No, don't be proud of that. That's a, yeah. that's not a we thing are to be proud of. Bologna positive on this, I, I actually, on this podcast. I actually have a segue for that because... Uh, yeah, you got a yeah. bologna segue? Back, no back, way. back home in Newfoundland, bologna is popular. No and, doubt. And on radio, we used to run the wild bologna races. Nice. I don't what? know what that is, but I like the sound of it. Yeah. There, there's a that? hashtag no context headline for you. Wild yeah. bologna races. Catch them while you can? Yeah. Gotta catch them <laughs> all. <laughs> I just picture like a cowboy going out and be like, I'm about to wrangle me up some bologna. You're just like oh, yeah. roping it. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wild bologna. I, I have no That's idea awesome. if they still do it, but uh, yeah, that was that was a contest on radio back home was the wild bologna races. You'd have That's to pick your favorite wild. bologna to run the race. Newfoundland, doing it right. Yeah. Well done. That's insane. <laughs> um, I, I got a couple of <laughs> that's a thing. Yeah. So uh, apparently uh, you can drink too much Earl Grey tea. Now, by too much, I mean four liters. Apparently this guy in, I think, Britain went to the doctor because he was having like blurry vision and stuff like that and he was drinking four liters of earl grey tea a day whoa calm down what <laughs> don't get me wrong earl grey tea and like london fogs are delicious but like i go four liters i go chamomile yeah i like green, green tea. tea too yeah yeah green tea's good and uh traditional like black tea that's a lot. Is, is, yeah but yeah four but liters like, that's insane yeah that's a four li- well i and it makes sense it was in England because, like, obviously they're <laughs> yeah. very, yeah, their tea. Actually, I remember my cousin went there and she got in crap because she had a tea bag and she was gonna reuse it, and like oh, they like flipped out on doing? it. They're like, you can't Scandalous. do that. What are you doing? And like, just like Sacrilege. was super mad about it. It's like the like, op- opposite of my uncle who would use two tea bags at a time. <laughs> oh, that's hardcore. Yeah, he wow, love this. That's a lot of tea. That is a lot of tea. But, uh, See, like, I like tea. Still I don't know if I like four oh, liters yeah. of tea He's every day, like though. That's a lot of tea. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
so that's uh that's one of my that's a things. That's, that's wild. I don't think I have a that's Holy a thing. Holy crap. I don't think I have I don't a that's think I have thing. one either. Yeah. Well, I got another one. Oh, that's the thing. Uh baloney better than him. Yeah. Um apparently in Nanaimo BC there are bathtub races every year. <laughs> well done, I Nanaimo. Love that. Yeah. Uh, Good job, I, th- I, th- I think they were canceled last year because of the whole yeah, pandemic, yeah. and they're yeah. kind of iffy about doing it this year. But uh, yeah, bathtub races. Why not? Cool in the ocean. I love that. <laughs> Careful, you might get swallowed by a whale. <laughs> yeah, be a whale of a good time. It's dangerous out there. <laughs> Man, I'm still blown away by that though. Like getting swallowed by a whale. I, I that's. <laughs> no, I, I don't. No, if that's exactly true. Story. Yeah. Apparently, no. Too, that's I, fair. I, I don't think the whales, uh, their esophagus isn't like big enough. Like it's not built to swallow something like because they eat like krill, yeah. right? Yeah, like little things. Yeah. 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 So. But still, though, just to say though, like if it if it is true, could you imagine what kind of bar story that would be? Well, this guy. Like, so, uh, what's the weirdest thing that ever happened to you? Crash, well, so, yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. You got struck by lightning. Hey. I, I, I can beat that. Yeah. My story is biblical. <laughs> yeah. I should have known it. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> I think that's Damn, five. That's no. crazy. No, uh, no, it was the boat guy. Yeah. 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 You're thinking Jonah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. My, my or Pinocchio. Bible references are up to snuff. Yep. Yeah. Pinocchio, too. Yep. Um, anyone got it? I was going to say Moby Dick, but I don't think that's right. No. I don't think no. Moby Dick ever he just swallowed took anybody. The guy's arm. Yeah. And then he got all. Yeah. Held a grudge for a very long time. Yep. Yes, you did. Very long time. You have to admit, though, the dedication to that. At least the man dedicated himself, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Got everyone killed, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Actually, speaking of, like, Moby Dick, I don't know why this came up, but have you guys seen um, Heart of the Sea? It was a Chris Hemsworth film where they kind of did, like, a Moby Dick version but like made it way darker. Uh, no, I, I, don't think I, I think I've, I've heard, heard of it. I haven't. Yeah, I don't think I watched it, it though. It's uh, it's really well done, and it's crazy because like usually when you think Chris Hemsworth, you think like Thor, but uh, they had to play this one part where they get lost at sea and they have no food and stuff, and they all like start obviously like losing like their like fat and stuff, and it's it's crazy. Like he's low key a skeleton. It's yeah. kind of terrifying. Uh, speaking of which, uh... <laughs> oh, I got a. Yeah, yeah, it's not really a. So that's a thing. Go ahead. But uh, but uh, just because we were kind of talking about the East Coast there. Yeah. Those two kids from a uh, Moncton, New Brunswick area. Yep. And their TikTok went viral. They just, they just you know, they hopped online. And just, hey, yeah. you want to be friends? And obviously, the mean part of the internet. Yeah. J- j- jumped on them, but it's nice because. Even, like, no matter how many jerks there are on the internet, there's always this... I can't really define it, but there's a line yeah. that we get to where people cross and, like, hold on, like... No. N- n- no. Yeah. So, like, these, like, these two kids, they got, like, a ton of, like, love. They got, like, a crazy, like, follow, crazy amount of followers and subscribers and all that stuff. And it was just really nice to see. Yeah. That's people stepping yeah. up. I, I mean... Yeah. Two kids looking for friends. Like, why yeah. Why would you dump on that? The hell is wrong with that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, the whole reason for social media was so you could meet people with similar interests and, like, get to know that there's other people that, like, you can be friends with out there, right? Yeah. And it's just, like, the fact that they jumped on it and was just like, oh, let's use this as an opportunity to beat up on these kids. And they are kids. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think, like, I, I don't know how old they are exactly, but maybe, like, late teens, early 20s. Ish. Yeah, so they're young. that's what I mean. Though that's like they're younger, right? It's like you don't need to. They're just looking for some chance. Like I, I would. Yeah, yeah. Friends. That's it. We're just looking for people to hang out, play video games, watch movies. As someone who grew up on the East Coast, I mean, like if your interests fall outside of sports, um, uh, it can be hard to meet people with like yeah, you know people okay. who like comic books. Yeah, or, if you want to rock like, like that. Yeah. Magic the Gathering, and you got no one to play with, man, it kind of yeah. sucks. Yeah. So they're just for sure. Just they're just saying, hey, yep. If you want to hang out, let's hang out. Happy that the internet stepped yeah. up for that. Yeah. Yep. So uh, yeah, like I love. Well done. Yep. Yeah, like I was gonna say, like I really love when like the internet comes together for something good. 
You know what I mean? Like, because there's so much negativity, especially right now, like online, offline, like just oh, everywhere. Yeah. So it's nice cancer. to see that like people still have humanity and they're just like, no, like these kids just want to hang out. Like, yeah. yep. like, I don't know. It's nice to see. Yeah. No, I'm glad there is that still that little sliver yeah, we, of we, humanity left online. We will always have that little sliver. At least. It's like, guys, like yeah. these, these two dudes, yeah. they, they seem pretty chill. They're into like, kind of like, well, we, I guess would be classified as like nerdy stuff, like comic books and movies and books yeah. and stuff. See, I don't. That's think, the thing. That's though, all the like, stuff I'm into. It's but, not real. Yeah. It's it's not as like nerdy as it used to be. No, oh, like, definitely not. You oh, know no. what I mean? Like, I feel like it's a lot more mainstream than it was like twenty years ago. Oh yeah, I used to get it, made it, fun it, of for liking comic books when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. I I used to play tabletop games at like uh, lunch with other people, and yeah. we've I've had someone like throw the game off the. Board, like yeah, table in the cafeteria, stuff like that. So and it, never, it never has the effect that they think it has. It's like, no. Okay, this is inconvenient. Oh no! But I have. We're to just gonna go back to the pieces. game. Yeah. But yeah, no, especially yeah, like, in, like I got it. Sorry, what? No, no, go ahead. I was like, especially in like a. I've never been to Moncton. Yeah. But like, not geographically, it's not. It's obviously not a metropolis. Yeah. So yeah, like it's it's got to be hard to like if you're into like Magic the Gathering or just comic books or Warhammer or any, anything like that. Yeah, like it's... Yeah. So, yeah, you just want to... sure. Throw that out there on TikTok because that's what everyone's on apparently now. I, yeah. I'm avoiding it like yep. the plague. But yeah, you're not missing much. They're just like, hey, yep. if you're in the area and you want to hang out and you like the same things we do, we're pretty chill. I mean, the internet... Well, the mean part of the internet tried to... Yeah, I think the original tweet was like, this is the most depressing thing I've ever seen. And Peter's like, yeah, what? How, oh, they're optimistic. how is that depressing? They're yeah. Again. They're literally just going like, hey, we enjoy this stuff. Yeah, like, what's wrong with if looking for If anybody else friends? enjoys it. Yep. Um, so, I don't know. Speaking of nerdy so, stuff. Yeah, all right. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm gonna, I love nerdy stuff. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, the original Dungeons & Dragons was made by a company called TSR. Uh, yes, we we know we know that you met Gary Guy <laughs> <laughs> uh, outside of a bathroom. Yep, uh, his son actually oh. has brought back TSR. Nice. So because they <gasps> no way yeah they made D and D and eventually got sold off to like Wizards of the Coast or whatever. Mm. But uh, yep, yeah, uh, his son has uh, restarted TSR and uh, I think he's got Larry Elmore, the guy who did like the old Dungeons and Dragons like artwork. So they're working Crazy. on a new game called Giant Lands. Okay. And yeah. Ooh. So uh, you know, That's cool. if you want to support Gary Gygax's son, uh, he's got a new game coming out. So I thought that was pretty cool because yeah. it's been like 20 years since like TSR was a thing. That's actually one thing that kind of that exists now that I didn't have when I was a kid. Like when I was like the nerdy kid, like buying comic books. I just had to go to like I would just go to like the bookstore who just happened to have like a yeah a large comic book section. It was called a well, it's not pronounced GNU, but it was spelled G N U. It's actually a, I think an African like kind of ox type of new new books, Ajax Ontario. I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist anymore. But uh yeah, like just that just, you know you you'd walk in, yeah, grab the stuff you want and go home. Yeah. But now they're like hangouts. Yeah. It's yeah. great. I met, I I feel I'm kind of left out. <laughs> you got like like you know like you got like Magic the Gathering parties going on upstairs. You got people like hanging oh, yeah. out on like the main floor, just yeah, talking about like Funko Pops and Pokemon. And it, it's definitely a different uh, different world for like liking that type of stuff. Yeah, I feel like I missed out on that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So uh, we need more comic I think, book um, Yeah, I was gonna say like I think part of the reason it's it's more popular now is because like the people who grew up loving those games and stuff it's like they were like we need to create a space where people can go do this and not feel judged and i feel like that's part of the reason it was so popular like calgary had a ton of them like i'm pretty sure edmonton has a few too and it's like it's cool because it's like these people can go meet like-minded people and enjoy the the thing that they're really passionate about without like worrying about people being like oh like yeah. What's this guy doing, right? Because they're with like-minded people. It's such a cool thing. Well, I mean, there are, like, conventions everywhere now. Yeah. yeah. From, like, sci-fi, anime, oh, they're massive. gaming, you know, whatever. Pick, yeah. your, pick your poison. Yeah, especially with social media. It's great. Like, it makes it just so much easier for people to, of similar interests to uh, connect. And yep. Meet up. It's pretty cool. 
I'm a yeah. It's yeah. I, I kind of wish I had that in my youth. Yeah, me too. Me too. It would have been cool. Yep. Yeah. Um. I'm like I'm glad I'm glad it exists now though because I feel like it does like add to add to it right where it's like before it's like you guys wouldn't have known if there was somebody else right it's it's way more open about it now I think yeah all right uh, I, are we at the end that might be a wrap all um, right let me check my notes I real think quick. so uh, yeah. yeah okay yeah oh I oh got some yeah no I just want to th- again thank the bit you yes. users because they've been they've been creeping up yeah they've been so. man they've been doing some heavy lifting it's it's crazy yep Loving it. Thank so, you. Thank you so it, much. It's very oh. much appreciated. Yeah, put the shoot logo right about chill. Yeah. Leave a comment. Maybe Oop. maybe not about UFO conspiracies. Or, yeah, or, yeah, maybe, we, or maybe about UFO do conspiracies. It. I welcome all comments yeah. within reason, yeah. obviously. Yes. Love it. Love it. <laughs> yeah, but conspiracy theories, you got some? I am all ears. If you want, we can do a show on it. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, oh, I have... I've got conspiracy theories for days. Oh, boy. Yeah. I got that <laughs> locked down. <laughs> But yeah. yeah. So thank you, bitch, you viewers. Thank you, YouTube viewers, if there's any left. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no. Probably not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Full of Baloney. <laughs> I'm Rachel Hedge. We'll see you next time.